At every NASCAR race, all the race teams love to show off their paint schemes with their unique colors, decals, and sponsors. Some are cool, some are just plain ugly. Race teams during the season will even sometimes change colors to their primary paint job because of a new sponsor for that weekend or some other purposes. Like, for example, the throwback race at Darlington during the Labor Day weekend. Some teams are even change their primary paint schemes for the new season. Since there are so many paint schemes throughout the 70 years of NASCAR, I'm going to go over my top 10 favorite paint schemes of all time. Hope you enjoy. Number 10, Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s Grey Ghost. He raced it at Charlotte in the All-Star Race back in 2008 and raced it in 2016 in Darlington. Well, actually Jeff Borden did because of a concussion. And he raced it again at Martinsville this past fall. The Grey Ghost, the reason why I like it, it's slick, it's simple, it's got that speed look. It reminds me of the Oakland Raiders. Number 9, Joey Logano's Shell Blue Paint Scheme. He raced it in Charlotte in 2014 during the playoffs. This is what you call a true best paint scheme in the modern era of NASCAR. It's got that modern look, it's got that future technology look just by with the blue blur coming right at you with the 22 logo. Number yellow color uh, 22 coming right at you. This is what you call future technology kind of look uh, paint scheme right now. Number 8, the 2009 primary and paint scheme for Michael Waltrip. This is kind of weird and maybe controversial because the reason why I like it, it just is so different than everyone else at the time. You got the flames or whatever it is just flying along like the car is going fast. You got the yellow and red flames while the number 55 number is actually yellow and red, but yet it still pops out to let everyone know, hey, I'm number 55. Can't believe I'm saying this, but number 7, the primary paint scheme for Kyle Busch in 2015. The crispy M&M's Toyota. The reason why? Because I just love how bright green the paint scheme is. You got the colors M&M's on the bottom. Looks like it's going along the speed. You got, of course, you got the M&M dudes on the side and the actual M&M candies on the hood. I wish he would run this paint scheme more often. Maybe I wouldn't hate him as much. Number six, and I was actually there in person to see the paint scheme. Dale Jr.'s 2006 Father's Day race car Budweiser Retro. This is called the beginning of the throwbacks became popular. This is a tribute to his great grandfather Ralph Earnhardt, of course Dale Sr.'s uh, father. I just love the paint scheme, I love the Retro 8, I love the Budweiser logo. It's just a simple old school 50, you can't get more old school than that. Number 5, we're going something brand new for the upcoming 2018 season, the 88 of Alex Bowman Auxelta Chevrolet. I just love the colors. I love the plain black and you got the red and the yellow. It just gives, gives you that 80s, late 80s, early 90s paint scheme. And it's by Exalta again. You know, props to Exalta because they make some of the best paint schemes ever. And I think this is the best one. Now we're getting down to number 4. The 96 through 2000 Dale Jarrett's Ford Credit Ford. I love the color 88. Well, it's red and you got the red and white uh, swirl going through. Like it's picking up speed, like a little draft. And of course, you got the blue as the main color, and I just love it. It's not. It's very 90s, and, I, and I, as a 90s kid, I love this paint scheme. Now at number three, we got 2007 primary paint scheme for Brian Vickers and the Red Bull. Actually, just the Red Bull paint scheme in general. I love all the Red Bull paint schemes. It's fast. It looks like you got the bull, the Red Bull, coming right at you. Like it wants to pick up speed. It's going fast as it can. I love the chrome blue. The yellow on the side with the 83 in the top of the hood, 83 is highlighted. It just it runs fast. It just looks like it runs fast even when it's like the slowest car on the track. Number two, we are at Ricky Craven's Tied Pontiac slash Ford. I love the bright orange. I love it. This is one of my first paint schemes I looked at as a child. This is a paint scheme die cast. I always wanted. I love the bright orange. Uh, you got to see him win at that awesome battle with... Uh, Kurt Busch at Darlington and I would never forget how dirty that car was but man it still looked good no matter what I just love the bright orange from Ricky Craven's Tide Pontiac now before I get to my number one favorite paint scheme of all time since there are so many of good looking paint schemes throughout the history of NASCAR here are a few honorable mentions I like to show
So, my favorite paint scheme of all time, you ask. Well, that's easy. It's right here. The 2014 slash 2015 Jeff Gordon Exalta Chevrolet. I don't don't get me wrong. I love the original Flames he debuted in in 2001 through 2013. But I got to go with the Exalta one because I love the black. I love the yellow and red flames how they fade in from started in from yellow and then fade out to red. It just gives you that mean look. It gives you the scared vibe. Like when you come out behind the leader, when you're about ready to take the lead, you just you know you're going to get screwed because Jeff Gordon dominated in 2014 and he almost won the championship with that special paint scheme, the silver paint scheme in the flames in 2015 at Homestead, Miami. This will probably be ever my favorite paint scheme of all time. I love the flames. If I want to be in a car, a race car, it's got to have flames on it because that just gives you that intimidation that you're going to be fast. So that's my top 10 favorite paint schemes of all time. Tell me what you guys think. Do you agree? Do you disagree? What you don't like about the list? What do you do like about the list? Uh, tell me what you guys, if you guys want to tell me your top 10 paint schemes of all time, I'll be gladly to look at them and uh, hope you enjoy the video and I'll catch you guys on the next one. All my real dogs still kicking with me. All my down holes still tripping with me. All the true gangsters know they ain't never love no more. All the hood rats still shake it for me. All my true fans still check it for me.